get yourself a little bit of space and we're going to start the warm up and the stretch. So what we do is we start up top, we want to kind of lighten up around the shoulders, loosen up around the neck. So I'm going to do these very big dramatic circles back and down. So I do this because a lot of what we do is this forward motion. We're at a computer, we're on our phones and we want to open up that chest. We want to loosen up the shoulder line, loosen up around the neck and go ahead and do some deep breathing with it with me. Good. Keep that going. Excellent job. Cool. Now I have my shoulders back and down. My neck is long. My abs are tight. I'm going to go ahead and do this big reach up. Keep that going. Reaching up tall. Nice and big. Good. My hands are not in front of my body. They are straight up over my body. My goal is to get almost like my bicep to my ear. So I get this big stretch with these big muscles in my back. Good breathing. Awesome job. Now I'm going to go ahead and tighten up in my abs so that if there's a little bit of a lean back, it's going to protect my back. Go ahead and keep going with this. I'm going to adjust the camera a little bit so I get a little bit more hand viewage. Go ahead and keep going. Fantastic. Okay, so now my chest is up. My feet are about hip-width apart. I'm going to go into my squats. Just a reminder, you guys are on mute. Yes. So go ahead and listen to some music. It'll make the workout be a little bit more enjoyable, go by faster. I sent out the new invite for the Zoom meetings coming up once these ones expire, because we are continuing with this uh, to July. Okay, really quick, modify to regular. Jumping jacks are regular, here we go. Modify jumping jack, regular jumping jack, up to you. Get that heart rate up. Breathe. And five, four, three, two, one. Legs are wide. Stretch out that quad, stretch out that chest. So anyways, the Zoom link got sent out. You guys should be getting that soon if you haven't already gotten it. What I want to say on that is on this next round of Zoom links, because I like to see you guys. It makes me feel like I'm not alone. I did put, just to be aware, that your video will be on, okay? You will be muted when you enter the class, but the video will be on. So that's something you, you do not want. Just be aware of it, and you can put yourself off, okay? You can turn your video off. But just so you're not surprised. Abs are tight, reach across. If you get dizzy, you're just gonna look forward and move the arms. If you can, big stretch. And if you were on that, in that kickboxing class last Friday, a couple days ago, might be a little sore in that upper body. I feel it right here in my back. It's a good sore. Means we got a good workout in but I can feel that as I'm stretching now. Fantastic. Okay, abs tight. I'm gonna go ahead and do a kick out. With this kick out, I'm stretching out the back of the leg, stretching out that hamstring. And again, the core's a little bit tight in case there's a little bit of a lean back to protect that back. Keep that going. Chest is up, feet about hip width apart. I'm gonna squat down, I'm gonna pop onto my toes. Good, so if you feel a little bit of imbalance coming up on your toes, you could, if it makes you feel uncomfortable, hold onto a back of a chair, hold onto a counter, a wall, or you could just stay flat foot and just do squats. One more. Modify it 
or regular jumping jacks up. Get that heart rate up and breathe. And in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. I'm going to go hip flexors. Hands wherever you need them for balance. I'm going to lift up that knee. I'm going for range of motion in that hip joint. Awesome, I'm gonna go ahead and start the leg wide and I circle it back in. Have one more. Abs are tight, protect that back. Swing kick. Good, get that stretch. Feel it behind my knee where the muscle insertion is. Fantastic. I'm going to do my hands on my hips and I'm going to go ahead and do a circle. So I'm circling out my hips, getting a stretch for my back. Loosen that up. Good breathing. Switch directions. Great. Okay. So now from here, you could do a um, pick whatever stretch you'd like. I'm going to choose to do my hamstring calf. So I'm going to straighten up the leg. I have the knee soft. It's not locked out. Plug the toe up, reach on down, breathe. And slowly come up, switch the legs. Leg is straight, knee is soft, pick that toe up, reach on down, breathe deeply. Slowly up. Back leg, back hip flexor is going to get the stretch. I take a step forward. I'm going to try and keep my back heel on the ground. I'm going to drive my hip flexor forward. This knee bends, both toes point forward. The hip that's back, I could lift up the arm. That's an option. You don't have to. I would lift the arm up. I kind of do a little bit of a pull back. I continue the stretch through the hip flexor up to the abdomen. Go ahead and switch. Drive that hip flexor forward, get that stretch. Excellent breathing. Awesome. Okay, so we got breathe, we got our stretch in, our warm up. We don't need anything, okay? You just need a little bit of space. So, what I'm gonna start with is I'm gonna plant. How about I plant my left foot? So it's your left foot, because we're a mirror image. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this leg right here, and I wanna go step out wide. So a little bit wider than maybe double hip width apart, however wide you feel comfortable. And I'm gonna come down into this lateral squat. So let's just kind of park it here and talk through what's happening. So right here, this knee should be over the foot. It's not gonna be wide, it's not gonna drop in. That's what you're really paying attention to. So when you look down at your foot, it should be that you see it over about midfoot, okay? This leg is straight, this is like your tether, okay? This is the rope, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and pull it down. I wanna keep the chest up, so if we had a necklace with a laser beam on it, it's gonna be out in front of you, not on the ground, okay? So keep the chest up. There is a little bit of tilt in the hip, so I know it's not perfectly upright, okay? Now, the other thing is butt pushes back, yes. When I come up, I'm not pulling through this leg. I'm pushing off the bent leg. So I'm gonna push off. Now you have options. Your modification is gonna be to tap in. If you can, you pull the leg up, and we're gonna do a twisting motion, okay? So my hands are, I'm gonna put them up to kind of be a little bit of a helper, and I'm gonna twist it. 
and I'm gonna pull my forearm or elbow to that thigh, and I'm gonna work my core, okay? So breath out and tight core. Okay, you got that? Lateral squat. If you don't feel comfortable in the lateral squat, you're gonna do a normal squat, okay? Easy enough modification. Good, let's keep here. We have 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, almost, 4. We're going to get tired. We're going to get tired. It's not going to get any easier. We're going to get a little harder in it first. One more. Cool. I'm going to hang out low. Chest stays up. Remember, I'm not arching my back. My back is straight. There is a tip in my hip. Now I'm holding here. I'm going to hold. Okay, chest is up. Just hold. Hold, hold. 10 seconds, okay? Keep it there. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 3, 4, 3, 2. Keep this knee bent. It's in a squat. Hands up. Pop that knee. Pop that knee. Pull. 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 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3. Keep blowing a squat if you can. I know mine's starting to lift a bit. And 1. Good job. Okay. So now we're going to shake it out. You can walk laterally, subtle step with almost like a curtsy lunge, or this becomes ice skater, which hops, makes a hop lateral lunge to a little bit of a dip. A hop and dip, hop and dip, it's called ice skater. Up to you, we go 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Good. Okay, I need a quick sip of water. Walk it out. Grab water with me if you need it. Great. I'm gonna let my breathing recover a bit. I make sure I can get in like three deep breaths in a row or be able to have a conversation. That's where you need to be at before moving on. Still with legs. I'm not getting to the other side yet. We'll do that in the next half, okay? So what's gonna happen here? So I'm gonna go into a squat. And let's see, let's show you side view. I'm in my squat, I come up partial, not fully, and I step forward, lunge. Squat back, back lunge. Squat, forward, squat, back, got it? Okay, so we're moving that right leg to begin. It's your right leg, because I'm your mirror. So I'm staying low, if you can stay low with me, that's fine. If your knees are achy, why don't you go all the way up and just come down a bit instead of keeping low? Good, good, good. Lunge, squats, squat, lunge. Good. Okay, so now we're gonna add in, when we come to the squat part, almost like a two dip. So I'm gonna go low, low, step it back. Back to squat, one, two, lunge, one, two, back lunge, one, two, lunge, one, two, back lunge, one, two, lunge, one, two, back lunge, good, one, two, lunge, one, two, whoo, back lunge, one, two, lunge, one, two, back lunge, one, two, lunge one two and back lunge cool okay so 
Now I'm going to show you side view. You're fine staying where you are. Same leg. I am going to go, I want to get full range of motion. So I'm going to go big step back. You have options. You could tap it or come in high knee, keep your core tight, glute tight. Step forward, big lunge. Tap or high knee. I'm showing the high knee. Back. Good. Woo, my balance. And again, I got to get my balance under control a little bit. So if your balance is wonky on this, pull a chair. You would have it on this side though. You would hold on to it, okay? I'll be able to get my balance down. I just got to get the footing on it. Good. So what's happening here is I go forward, big lunge. I pause up in the air every time because the leg that's on the ground is having to stabilize and that's coming from your glute. So you want to give your glute a little attention. Good. Of the stability leg. Fantastic. Good job, good job. Okay, you doing okay? We get in just that little bit of plyometric, that little bit of cardio, and here you are. Your modification is going to be back, forward, back, forward, just with a little bit of a bend, okay? Or you could take it to just knee up, and that's going to get that heart rate up. I am going to go ahead and jump it. So I'm going to go squat jump, lunge jump, squat, lunge, squat, lunge, squat, lunge. Join me if you want. And in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Recover. Okay, so we got to work. Right side was the mover. Next half, we're going to the other side. Recover breathing, grab some water, come back with your dumbbells. dumbbells but you still might want to recover your breath that's fine now I'm just gonna throw this out there if you have multiple set weights at home right now would be a great time to grab something a little bit heavier to push yourself if you want okay I'll show um, what it will be like having two weights because I'm just going to hold it in the same hand. But these are light. These are only five pounds and your hand would need to be big enough to feel comfortable to grip it. If it's not and you have that ability to have other set of weight, do it. If not, you're completely fine. Don't worry about it. Okay. So what's going to happen here is I'm going to go ahead and start off. My feet about hip width apart a little wider is okay. Go into a squat, tip at the hip. And here I am. Okay. I'm in my position with my back straight, hip tilted, squat. And I'm gonna go into right arm. So I'm gonna stabilize with this arm. I'm gonna go right arm having the heavier set of weight. And if you don't, if you just wanna do one, that's fine. You're still gonna get benefit, okay? Where really it's gonna happen here is we have to cue up our oblique, the side of our abs, okay? So here we are, and I'm gonna open up. And I'm doing a single arm back fly. And again, I want you to feel your core tight through the abs. We're not rocking our body. And I'm doing that single arm with a little bit more weight if you can. Okay. If you have that ability to do, if not, you're fine with the weight you have. I do recommend still trying it single today just so that we can feel the oblique. Okay. Let's go 10 more. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, and one. I'm up. Now I'm going to go tight through the core. I don't want to shake my hip to rock forward. If you can stay heavy weight, go ahead and stay there. I'm going to go hammer curl, press, down, down. Hammer curl, press, 
down, down with the heavier weight if you can. If the heavier weight is something you don't feel like doing today, you could do two weights to make this more challenging, one in each hand, or you could keep light on the single and concentrate again on the core stability coming from that oblique. Good breathing. Good job. Okay, I'm gonna do five more. Join me if you can. And then five, four, three, two, and I fill it with the heavier weight. Great, okay, that's the whole purpose. We wanna fill that. Okay, so now I'm gonna come back down and I'm going to go into um, a little bit of wide step. I'm gonna place the back of my arm, my tricep, right on the end part of my thigh. And I'm pretty low in a squat, but again, my back stays straight. So I have my arm in there. I'm going for a bicep curl. So my arm, my meaning like my elbow, is kind of a little bit of leverage. I'm holding the deep squat. Good. And you can always go right here and just do a bicep curl while standing if your low back doesn't like that. So I am holding my arm down. I am pretty light. I'm not like digging into it with my arm and relying completely on the leverage. I am having to lift the heavier weight. Good, 10 more. And then 10, breathe, nine, good, eight, seven, six, five, four, almost, three, two, and one. Oh, it's much harder with the heavier weight. Okay, coming on up. Heavy weight is getting to be a little bit much, right? You might need to go back to lighter weight. Try to stay single with me so that we work the core. So what's gonna happen here is I need to have a little bit of a bend in the elbow. And I may not get up high as my shoulder, but I'm gonna go ahead and go single arm lat raise. Core tight. And then 10. Nine, no dip in the wrist. Eight, and if this is too heavy, please go one weight. Seven, whew. Six, five, you could do no weight at all if you need to. Four, whew. Three, two, and one. Great, I'm coming back down to being straight back and having my knees bent and hip tilted. Now from here, what's gonna happen is I'm gonna place my arm right here for a little bit of balance. I'm gonna keep my arm a little bit wide. I'm gonna go ahead and go row, extend back, set down, row, extend. And I have 10 of these. 10, nine, good breathing. If this position is too much for your low back, you could pull up a chair, sit in a chair, and do a little tilt forward, or you could stay upright and do straight arm back. Good. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Very good. Awesome. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and put one weight in each arm, shoulders back and down. I'm gonna go ahead and go through um, like a little medley of the arms, um, just to kind of get the heart rate up, get both arms going, and then we're switched over sides. So abs tight, core tight, knees soft, bicep curl alternate. If you just truly need to recover, go no weight at all and just go through the arm motion. Good, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, punch out. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, cherry pickers. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good job, switching sides. Okay, so here we go. Remember, I'm gonna go heavy weight, 
but again, not necessary. I'm gonna come down, back is straight. I'm gonna brace myself with my other arm. I have my arm in front, I kinda got like a gorilla arm going. My elbow is bent, no bend in the wrist. And I wanna open up for my back fly. And from here, I'm trying not to move my core. I'm stabilizing with my oblique side of the core. Here we go. And I got in a few before I started counting 10 on this first one. So unfortunately, I'm gonna try to match that. And I'm gonna count 10 more. And in 10, nine, good. Breathe, eight, seven, six, feel that back. Five, feel your obliques. Four, stabilizing through the low back. Three, nice and strong. Two, finish up. Woo, good job. Hold it like a hammer, abs tight. Hammer curl. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, coming back down, I'm gonna go ahead and come down a little deeper. So I'm not gonna go wider squat. I'm gonna put my elbow right on the inside of my inner thigh and I'm going bicep curl. 10, nine, eight, seven, breathe. Six, feel that bicep. Four, almost. Three, hang in there. Uh, two, one. Awesome. Again, feel free to go one weight, no weight, whatever you need to get do to get through this. I'm coming up for my overhead press. And I think this actually should have been the last one that I was gonna do, which is gonna make it a little bit off with our series, but we're getting it all in. Good job. And in five, four, three, that's tough. Arm is tired. Two, and one, cool. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead, coming back down, back has to be straight, okay? So you need to be able to maintain that straight low back. If you feel like you're losing it in the low back, I need you just to come up right and do a straight arm back. Okay, so here I am, down low. The other arm braces on my thigh. I row and then extend. And I'm gonna go for it. 10, three, nine, eight, seven. So if you can see me, you probably should, and, but you should probably focus it on your form. Okay, so take a look at me and then get your form down so that your spine is straight. You're probably looking at the ground. Do you understand what I'm saying? If not, look at me and then get what I'm doing, keeping the core, the spine straight all the way through the neck. Then I have one more. Good, okay. So maybe it's one weight, maybe it's two weights. This is completely up to you, I'm just adjusting. Abs are tight, core is tight, especially right here, that side oblique. My knees are braced to a soft. I'm gonna lock up. I wanna lift it. 10, Woo. nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, and one. One in each arm, here we go. Knock it out for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Punch it now for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Lift it now for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and done. Whew. Okay, 
So we only have time for one round of this. So in our next half of class, when we get to the upper body, it's gonna be from the mat, working chest, and we're gonna put more core work into that part. So right now, set your weight down, grab a sip of water, we're resetting and going back to legs. I just got a shower with my water bottle. We're resetting, heading back to legs. Make sure your breathing's under control. Water is down. Last time we had our right leg be the mover. You're my mirror image, so your right leg was the mover. So now we're gonna go ahead and move on to the left. So what's gonna happen here is I'm gonna go step big, step out, and I'm gonna come down. Now let's talk about it first. Get down into your low um, lateral squat. Keep the chest up. What chest up means is that if I had on a laser pointer necklace, would be able to see it in front of me, not on the ground, okay? I don't want to tip forward. So yes, there's a little bit of a tip in my hip though, okay? So when I look down, my knee should be over foot, not over the ground Why? okay? Now we could do a step in or you can bring it to this motion where I start to get a twist in the core. And I wanna bring in the opposite form to that knee and get in a twist. 15, 14, sink down, sink down. 12, 11, 10, nine, Eight, and I'm taking my time so that I stick a good positioning and then I'm able to get low. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. I'm gonna come low and I'm gonna hold. Okay, chest is up, low. Lateral squat, hold. Body weight held here. Right here, this outside leg. Keep it, hold it, keep it, hold it. Head in 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. I'm gonna keep low in that squat. I'm gonna lift my arms, and now I'm gonna create imbalance with the outside leg popping. This leg stays in a squat. This leg creates imbalance. Everyone's gonna get our heart rate up. Ready, let's go. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Okay, so now I can walk it. I'll show walking first. To be a big lateral step and reach back for almost like a curtsy lunge. You can do a little slight dip. I'm gonna move into a jump. She said, take me to a lateral jump. I'm gonna sink down into my lunge. And I go for 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, breathe. 10, good job. Nine, fight for it. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, finish. Whew. I need to recover my breath. If you want to sneak in some water in there, you can. Recover the breathing. We're moving on into that squat lunge. And in four, three, two, and one. Okay, so now your left leg is the mover. 
I go squat, step it forward, squat, step it back, okay? And it has to be my left leg, actually. Here we go. So as I do this, it's probably better if I go this way. So I am staying low. I'm not coming up for my full range. If you have that ability to, keep it low. Keep the weight there on the quads, glutes, and hamstrings. Try and keep it low. Got it? So it is just a little squat, a little back step. Squat, a little front step. Okay, so we're doing okay. We're gonna start adding in that double dip if you can. One, two. Back, one, two, forward, one, two, back, one, two, forward, one, two, back, one, two, forward, one, two, back step, one, two, forward lunge, one, two, back, one, Two, four, whoo, legs are nice and tired. Great, okay. So now I'm gonna go full range of motion into a lunge. I keep the same mover, it's my left leg. I step it back, I'm gonna go dip down. Front leg pushes me up, it's always the front leg in a lunge that is gonna carry the weight. Now I can either tap it or do a high knee. If I'm doing high knee, opposite side stability, like glute is really holding me up. Step forward, hold it or tap it, step it back. So we got this traveling lunge, making it nice and dramatic, throwing off our balance. The glute has to stabilize, the core has to stabilize. Good job. Fantastic. All this is important because this movement is real life. There's times where our stability has to correct itself in a moment's notice. And so we want to practice here in a controlled setting. Before we're out in the real world and we step on a crack or step off of a sidewalk wrong. Okay? So we're strengthening those muscles for stability here. And if you need to, you hold on to something in the meantime. A chair, a countertop, a wall. Fantastic. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and face you. I have a little bit of plyometrics, just a little bit of cardio moved into it. So it's gonna happen here. Maybe for you, it's gonna be like a rapid motion squat, squat. Maybe you do pop that knee up. If you want to, you could join me. I'm gonna go a little jump, split squat, or that's a lunge. Back to a squat, lunge, squat, lunge. Join me if you want. Squat, lunge, good. Keep that going. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good job. I'm gonna grab water, I'm gonna recover my breathing, I'm gonna pull out a mat and have a dumbbell when I come back, okay? Have my dumbbells and a mat when I come back. Water, stretch, recovery, whatever you need to, pull your mat out and have your dumbbells.
my mat out. I'm gonna grab my dumbbells. So our goals here are to work a little bit more of that upper body. The primary one that we haven't gotten to yet is our, gonna be our chest. And then we're gonna start incorporating our core muscles, okay? So we have about 10 minutes to devote here. So we have plenty of time that we might um, interject some other um, features like low back, glutes, hamstrings into bridging. Okay, so we have, I'm gonna come down onto my mat. I'm gonna go wide arms. So when I'm doing this, if, first off, if you're not comfortable, you can always go no weight at all, or you could take it to a chest press, which is gonna be a bit easier. So I'm in the position for a chest fly. There's no bend in my wrist, okay, that's important. There is a bend in my elbow joint, okay? So what's happening here is I'm gonna pull my arms together. Now this is a little bit light for your chest. If you have that um, series of two dumbbells, you could do it, although the next step is gonna make this harder. But if you have a lighter weight like I do, you need to get a little bit um, active with your imagination. So what I do is I pretend the weight is heavy, and what I wanna do is I wanna contract the muscles in my pectorals so they lift. And as the elbows see each other, when the elbows start to see each other, that's when I'm really raising my pectoral. So flex, 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 flex. Low drop, slow drop. Flex, 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 squeeze. And then low. So that's what I'm cueing my muscles to do, okay? So I get the most out of this. Good, I'm cueing my pectoral muscles to raise on the up. Good breathing. So now as I do this, I'm gonna start adding in some stuff. I'm gonna add in a crunch or a sit up. Now this is kind of up to you. If you don't feel comfortable in your neck, low back, whatever, don't do it, stay right here. Okay, so I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna kick my legs out to a teeny bit and I'm gonna start doing crunch and lower. Shh, breath out on the up and I lower it down and I go for 10. Nine, eight, good, 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 seven, six, five, four, Three, two, and we're gonna really tire out the chest, okay? We're gonna do one more. And I'm gonna set down the weight. Now hear me on this. I'm gonna end up turning over for a push-up. If you simply don't like push-ups or you have a wrist injury or any injury that makes push-ups a little bit harder, I'd like you to do chest press right here, okay? Shh, shh, shh. So with that chest press, I'm gonna extend up, flex on the up, the chest muscle, and lower back down. Awesome, okay, so I'm gonna flip over. You could go onto your knees, you could be body as a box, you could walk the knees out, you could go onto your toes, wherever you feel comfortable. Okay, my hands are down from my shoulder, a little bit wider than my shoulders, and my elbows go wide and back, and I'm gonna go for 10, nine, eight tight abs, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, and one. I flip back over. I'm gonna shake out my wrists in the meantime too. I grab my dumbbells. I have my dumbbells in my hand. I'm going back to my chest fly. My feet are hip width apart. I'm gonna start lifting up my hips. And I want to get that spine in a nice straight line up at the top. I do not want to overextend. Just because your glute is strong enough and you could pop it in more, you bring that low back out of alignment and that's no good. It will cause issues, maybe not in the short term, but it will in the long term. So we just want to come up to a nice straight line, okay? Nice straight line, flex that glute, feel that hamstring lower down. Pushing evenly up through the feet. Anchoring in the heels a little bit more, but evenly from side to side. 
and the arms are doing the same thing in the sense of I am going flex, 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 squeeze that chest and then lower back down. So flex, squeeze the muscles to the top, relax it slowly, release it down. When you feel that eccentric contraction, that's the drop, the muscles in the back of the arm working. Okay? So that's important too. And we go for 10, 9, 8, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and last one. Great job. Okay, I'm going to set that down. And again, you could do the chest press, or you could go back into push-ups, whatever you'd like to do. My hands are down from the shoulder, a little bit wider than my shoulders though, that's the way I feel comfortable. And my elbows are back and down. You could be body in the box, you could be on your knees, you could be on your toes, either way your abs are strong. Let's go for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good job, I'm just gonna stretch my back out after that and I'm gonna go ahead and move around my wrist. Awesome, so we got a few more minutes that I get to spend with you. Let's incorporate again the core muscles, but let's start adding in maybe, we can add in a little bit of tricep. I'm gonna go ahead and grab my dumbbells and if you're done with your dumbbells, you really don't need them for this one, okay? You can just go through the motion and primarily focus on your core strength. Okay, so what's gonna happen here is I'm gonna go ahead and go, having my elbows up, have your wrists locked. We don't wanna have bendy wrists. I'm gonna extend up with the arms. I'm gonna crunch to up. Your crunches might be a little bit more fabulous. I have something in the way right now. And when I'm up, I'm gonna go one more. I'm gonna bring it back down. So with your legs, you can bring them up to tabletop. You can lift them straight up. Up to you. Let's see what you can do. Tricep, press it up. Tricep, press, lower down. Tricep, press, lift it up. Tricep, press, lift it down. We'll do a few of these, and then we'll pause for a moment and pull, we'll put in some pulses. Good. Tricep, press, up. Tricep, press, down. One more. Tricep, press, up. Tricep, press, hold. Okay, ready? Now, if your toes are up, that's great. If not, they're down, that's fine. I'm gonna have you pulse out a lift with the arms. Lift, lift, lift. And in 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. I'm gonna set down the weights. I'm gonna take my hands. I'm gonna set them on the side of my body. I could slide them underneath high butt, low back, if that's a little more comfortable, which for me it is. And here we go, we can start off with tippy toes down and you're gonna pretend they're in cement and you're gonna pull it out with, no, if they're in cement, it's gonna be hard to pull out. Okay, the cement's hardening up. You wanna pull them out and lift the knees up and you need to really use your core strength to get them out of that cement, okay? Fantastic, start there. You doing good? Okay, so I like the pace that I'm at because it really makes me have to maintain control. Let's not rush this one and bound off the ground with the tippy toes. Let's go toes down, weighted toes, draw them in. I'm gonna add in a little bit of difficulty. If you like it, you can join me. I'm gonna go knees in, lift up, lower down. Knees in, lift up, lower down. Okay, you're doing great. We have five, four, three, two. And now you could go toes down, 
knees in, pulse it out. Or you could go lift up, pulse it out for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. And I lower it down. Awesome. Good job. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to flip onto my side. And now this is a side uh, plank. If you have shoulder problems, you want to be doubly aware that maybe this isn't for you. And instead, you're going to be doing side crunches. And if that's awkward for the head, you can simply go into a bicycle. Okay? So I'm going to do a side plank. And again, if you have shoulder problems, but it's been a while, you can try it out for sure. What I would want to do is put my elbow straight down. And I want to transfer the weight through the fist form and the elbow. Right away, I can have my other hand be right in front of me for a little bit of help. Now, my body right now is in the C shape. That's no good. I need to kick it back so it's nice and long and aligned. Now, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go top leg straight, bottom leg bent, and I'm going to lift up my hip. See, this is like a nice medium bout for this exercise. I'm going to make it a bit harder, but you don't have to. So I could put my hand on my hip or my hand straight up. These are all just different positions that might feel comfortable for you. And I could kick out to having two legs lift me up. It's up to you. And we go for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and we're gonna get to the other side in a second, but before we get there, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna have you lay on your stomach, okay? I'm not gonna be able to do this one, but you are gonna lay on the stomach. So what it's gonna look like is you're gonna lay on your stomach, and I'm gonna show like just a little bit of what I can show, but I'm gonna keep this arm down, just protect. This is not how you're doing. So you're gonna lay down and you're gonna go lift back down, but both sides are gonna mimic what I'm showing with the side facing you, okay? You're gonna do a Superman prone lift you could lift legs and arms and upper body at the same time, or you could choose just to do legs or upper body, okay? So that's one you can do. The other one you could do, if you want to, is the modification, what I'm gonna do, and I'm gonna hold for three seconds and back down. Now, we're gonna hold either the Superman or the alternating limb, and we're gonna hold for three seconds. So get ready, Supermans, if you're there. If not, you're alternating limbs with me. Get ready, lift, hold, three, Two, one, relax your spine. Three, ready, set, halt. Three, two, one, relax your spine. Switch, ready, let's go. Three, two, one, relax your spine. 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 Last one. Three, two, and one. Switching sides for the oblique um, plank, the side plank. Again, if you don't like a side plank, you could do a side um, crunch or you could do alternating bicycle. I'm gonna go forearm. I can put my hand here. I want to get that body straight, I can keep the knee down. This is a really nice in between when we're first starting out. And again, I can make it harder, it doesn't matter where you're at, you just do the best you can do. Don't feel pressure. Getting ready, and we go for eight, seven, six, five, four, three two, and one. Fantastic. Okay. It's ready. It's time for us to start stretching out. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm just putting my weights off to the side. I'm going to stretch out long through the body, long through the limbs. I'm getting that stretch through my back, my low back, my arms, my abdomen, and I breathe. Take a deep breath in, hug your knees in, and release that breath. 
So with the knees in, right here, I'm gonna loosen up my grip and I'm gonna draw circles to loosen up the low back. Switch direction of your circles. My arms open wide, my palms are down, my knees are bent, and I switch the legs side to side. Great. From here, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to extend my legs. I want to square my hips up with the shoulders. I'm gonna go one leg across, bring it down, square the hips up with the shoulders, and other leg across. And good. So now the bottom knee, the knees can be bent or straight, that's up to you. I'm gonna straighten out one leg and it can go to a hand or a stretching strap. And here I am stretching out my hamstring. And again, bottom knee can be bent if you're a bit tight today. Work your breathing. Excellent job. Point the toe down. Lift the toe up. Circle for the ankle joint. Switch direction of the circle. Opposite arm grabs the leg, same side arm down. Pull it across the leg across your body, point the toe to the face. Three. And relax. Excellent. I'm going to switch legs. And again, bottom knee can be bent or straight to make it a little harder. I lift up that leg, I feel that stretch, that hamstring, I have deep breathing, I point the toe down. I lift the toe up. I do big circles for the ankle joint. Switch direction of your circle. Opposite arm grabs that leg Pull that leg across the body, straighten the leg, point the toe down. Great. So now I'm going to go ahead and put the ankle on top of the thigh and I can sit up too or I can hug in the leg. Up to you, whatever feels best and breathe. And release, switch it. Ankle to the thigh, hug it in, or sit up two and breathe deeply. Excellent, and release. I'm gonna lift my body to up. I'm gonna extend out my legs, push out the heels, and I'm gonna fold my body over to what feels like it's challenging, but still comfortable. I get the stretch of the back of the low back and the back of the legs. Deep breathing. I'm gonna go ahead and do soles of the feet together. I'm gonna push those knees really wide if you can, if you do that. And I'm gonna go ahead and do a little tip in the hip, but you don't have to do that hard. You can if you want. And then from here, you could extend the legs, but it's not necessary. You don't have to. I'll put a little bend in the elbow. And good. So now from here, I'm going to reach to the side. I'm going to reach to the other side. Okay, now I'm going to go on to my stomach side down and you can lift up full arm cobra or you can stay on your forearms. I'm going to get that stretch to the spine, the stretch to the abdomen. And then from here, I'm going to go ahead and bring my legs in to being hip width apart, and I'm gonna push back into child's pose. And fantastic, I'm gonna go all four core. I take a step forward, back leg, I drive forward, the back hip, I get that stretch. You can modify the stretch to make it harder. You don't have to, it's up to you. And release.
slow release, slowly, gently make your way to standing. Don't jerk your head up. When you make your way to up, shoulders are backing down, brace yourself. One hand up, one hand down, reach down to the ankle and breathe. And good, one hand up, one hand down, reach down and breathe. Then your shoulders are backing down. Tip your chin, and you're gonna go ahead and move your chin side to side. Good. Okay, we're gonna do the other part of the neck in a second. Let me get a little bit more arms. Go ahead and pull the arm across. Switch it. Elbow up. Switch it. Shoulders are back and down. From here, what I'm going to go ahead and do is, oh, I keep forgetting to get chest in. You got to stretch, stretch. We won't get too hard. Go ahead and do fingertips to the ears, elbows wide. Extend the arms wide. I'm going to go ahead and fall forward with a hug. Slowly roll that spine up on top of each other, stacking it. Shoulders are back and down. Look over the shoulder as far as you can. Other side, slack jaw, look over the shoulder as far as you can. Back to center, look on up. And you did a great job. Awesome job, thanks for sticking with me to the end. Have a good rest of the day. I hope to see you guys on Wednesday. Hello, hey Bernice, hey Dan.